I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on set theory. In this video, we'll talk about two important ways of representing sets. These are called rooster form and set builder form. So let's look into a few examples to really understand how to represent the elements of the set. So we'll discuss how to write the sets in the rooster form and in set builder form. So I made a, two columns here. In the column on the left side, we'll write in the rooster form. And on the right side, we'll use set builder form. Taking the first example, set A a set of elements A, E, I, O, U. I have provided you with a list of items in these brackets. So the brackets here indicate the set and all the elements of the set are listed within it. A, E, I, O, U. So in rooster form, you basically list all the elements and therefore it is also called list form. Correct? Now, if I have to write the same thing in set builder form, builder means items or the elements are not listed as shown in the rooster form, but you have to kind of build them, right? So, so in set builder form, you have to build them. That is the key. Based on what? Based on uh, characteristics or we say properties. Correct. So that is the whole criteria. So in set builder form, we do have the same brackets, right, which indicate the set of. So the meaning of these brackets is set of, right. So let me just write set of, right. So that is the meaning of these brackets as we use them in the rooster form. A part of this is to define the variables so we use some variables so let's say let's say variable x so here x is a variable so we say define variables so you could define actually more than one variable right so so here for simplicity i have only defined one variable once you define the variable, you can provide some conditions with a bar here. The bar here is, normally when you read this, is such that. It is read as such that or so that, right? So that gives you the conditions. So the right side of this bar gives you the condition or the properties. And on this side, we write all the properties for the given set, right? Elements of the set. So here we list properties. You can say or conditions. So that is how we actually form a set builder. Now, in this particular case, if you are given a set A, E, I, O, U, I could write this as set A equals 2. The variable for me will be, let's say, X, right? Such that what we have here is such that X is a vowel. So, the condition could be written in a phrase given like this, right? X is a vowel. So that is good enough. It specifies that there are only five vowels and you could build the set. We are not writing A, E, I, O, U. From the given condition, you can make out what the elements could be. So that is what it is. So I hope this point is very clear. Now, let's try to understand. If I am given a set in the set builder form, how to list all the elements of the set. So that is my example B. Set B is equal to, 
Now set of, so those brackets mean set of. The variable here is x belongs to natural numbers, right? Sometimes we give this condition that belongs to natural numbers on the right side of such that. I could have written like that also. What I'm trying to say is this could have been written as x such that x belongs to natural numbers, comma, x is less than 7. Now, I could have changed this order also. So, there is a lot of flexibility. I could have written this first and that later. All are correct. Perfect. Basically, we have these four basic elements, right? These curly brackets to represent the set variable such that and then properties or conditions. So once you have all these elements, you have provided the set builder form. Perfect. Now, let's get the list of all the elements of this set and write them in the rooster form. So for set B, we're looking for natural numbers. That means 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. 0 is not included, correct? In rooster form, we'll use the same curly bracket. X is less than 7. 7 is not included. Therefore, the list will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. These 6 elements. Perfect. That is how you get the list of elements from the set builder form. Now let's take another example just to practice. See, where we have defined the variable lowercase c that belongs to integers, z means integers, and we are given an expression here along with an equation which is c equals to x square where x is less than 5 and x belongs to whole numbers. The bracket should have been closed, which I have done now. Correct? Now that is kind of complicated. But in set builder form, we have a lot of flexibility. We could define more than one variable, give different conditions, right, with comma as a separator, as shown here. So again, we are not talking about all the elements which are integers, means negative, positive numbers, including zero, where these elements are square of a number. And what is x? x is less than 5 and x belongs to whole numbers. That means 0 is included. So now we can list it as c equals 2. So since x is a whole number, the value of x could only be from 0 to 4. 5 is not included. Square of these numbers will be 0 square is 0, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, and 4 square is 16. So we get these five elements from the set builder form given to us. Right? So we have not listed the elements, but we can always build our set. That is the basic concept. Right? So I hope that is absolutely clear. Now here, D, I'd like you to pause the video now. We have given you for, uh, four elements and this dot really means that it goes over and over, right? It's a infinite data which has been shown here in the rooster form. So in the rooster form, it is not necessary to only provide the all the elements. You could also represent infinite number of elements in the rooster form as shown here. Now this is indeed a very difficult question. So let me put a star here. Normally you will get it in the test something like this. It won't be that simple as we have taken. So now we are talking about list of elements as 0, 7, 26 and 63. Uh, do we get some relation? How do I figure out what these elements are? And how can I write them in a set builder form? Well, that is a huge exercise, correct? So I'd like you to pause your video and then see how to get this kind of a list. Now, well, here is a solution. This set, you see each element is increasing by a very large amount as we move on. 
so they are actually related with the cube of cubic relation see how so let's say uh, the elements are represented by the variable d which belongs to as we are seeing here these are all natural numbers or whole numbers zero is there okay so let's say d belongs to whole numbers so that we can give a condition that d is equal to x cube now one cube is one but we have zero here minus one two cube is eight eight minus one is seven so x cube minus one do you see that x cube minus one where x belongs to natural numbers so if i give you that condition in the set builder form you could come out with the list given to you does it make sense to you so that is how it works right so i hope you find it clear and interesting now let me give you an example here where there could be some ambiguity for example if i give you a set which is kind of like this three five seven and so on now if i provide you with a list like this in the rooster form and expect you to give me the correct answer well you might get confused since i could have this set in two different ways i could have a set which could be for example three five seven nine and so on or i could have a set g which could be three five seven and instead of nine if i write 11 then it gives me set of prime numbers do you see that part it gives me set of prime numbers right so so then that set becomes like 13 and then 17 19 and so on so at times when you are representing data in the rooster form you have to be very specific and careful so that you provide complete information or at least minimum number of elements which specify the set correctly so the set e written as 357 and so on may not be the best way of representing in rooster or list form i hope you get an idea right anyway let us give you both these lists and i like you to provide the set builder form for both set F and G. Take it as an exercise. I hope that helps. Now after this, I'll take a few more examples in which i like you to write the set in set builder form for the given set of elements. I hope that will give you good practice. Here we have a very important test question for you. We'll provide you set in the form of a list, the rooster form. And you need to write this in set builder notation. Here are four examples. You can pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. Set A is minus 6, minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, 4, and 6. Set B is 3, 7, 11, 15. D is 0, 3, 8, 15, 24, and so on. And E is 2, 6, 12, 20, 30, 42. Okay, so let's begin with set A. In the set builder form, I could write this as, as set A. Now, these are integers, so we can define a variable. So let's say the variable is A for us, right? So A belongs to the set of integers. I always prefer to define the variable completely. And then such that, so that bar gives you a separation between the variable and the conditions or the properties. The properties here is that we're talking about even numbers. So I could write A is equal to 2x. Now I have used another variable to define my elements of the set. So what could be x? That is what we are trying to figure out now. So we say x here is 
greater than or within within the limit of 3 minus and plus right so x is between minus 3 so we'll include and and 3 right positive 3 we'll include this also where where again i write what x is right we have to be very specific right so where x is belonging to integers is that all so and then we'll close this bracket you get the idea now i could have defined both these variables on the left side also however we always prefer to define the main variable on the left side of such that or so that condition and then define all others on the right side so that is the normal standard next b equals to 3 7 11 15 and so on now we have infinite number of elements in this list how do we represent them so so what do you notice here 3 7 11 and uh, 15 to come out with this particular we will have to work a little bit to figure out how do we get these elements right so at times it could involve a lot of thinking correct so as you go from 3 to 7 we add 4 and then 7 to 11 is also a 4 right so so as you move you have to add 4 so we see a pattern here right so you're adding by 4 so that is kind of a arithmetic series right so that means I could write this as a multiple of 4 a linear relation so now I think it's better we could write this as B let B be the elements which belongs to let's say natural numbers and uh, so as I said 4 times 1 is 4 but we need 3 so I could write this as B equals to 4 times the number x right uh, minus 1 since I want 3 not 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 minus 1 is 7 so that works right where x belongs to natural numbers right so I could provide that condition for the given set so this becomes the set builder notation for the list of items so as you can see here you can represent infinite number of elements in the rooster form also perfect next one here we are writing c and the set name is d equals to 0 3 8 15 24 that is also tricky now these questions have been picked up from test papers so they are not very simple or straightforward as you will see most of the time how do you represent them well you will notice that they are one less than a square of a number right so 1 4 9 16 25 does it remind yes yes it does so we could write this as the set d so the name remains same and the set of let's say this element d belongs to you can say integers right where the condition here is that d is equal to what x square minus 1 right x square minus 1 where x belongs to now first element here which we have taken is 1 so it is better to write x belongs to natural numbers correct so I hope that makes sense so the infinite series given in the rooster form can easily be written in the set builder form but you have to figure out explicitly how to write a rule right so basically this part gives you the rule for getting all the elements so I hope that is absolutely clear the last one here is actually your test question right so treat this as your test question you can actually pause the video answer this question and then look into my suggestions correct now here also you'll have to work out a pattern to find the solution so this set e looks like all the integers positive integers we can also write this as e belongs to z plus so when i write 
integers with a positive sign, it means 1, 2, 3, 4, natural numbers, correct? So that is another way of representing natural numbers. How do I get a rule for this? Well, here also, it kind of goes up in the similar fashion as it went up in the previous case. But uh, what you notice here is that the difference, let's work out the method also, right? What is the difference here? 2 to 6 is 4, 6 to 12 is 6, and then we have 8, and then we have 10. So we see that it is increasing in by 2 each time. But, you know, the second difference is constant. It is 2. Now, when second difference is constant, we know it is a quadratic relation. Right, so now we could actually write a rule. So x square, let's say first term, 1 square, but we have uh, 1 more. And the second case, 2 square is 4, we have 2 more. So we get a rule here that e is equal to x square plus x. Perfect. And we have started with 1, so where x belongs to natural numbers. Does it make sense to you? So that is how you could write this particular example. Now this is a real test question. You should go through it once again, try to understand. I hope you understand and appreciate what we have done here. Feel free to share my videos and if you like and subscribe to them, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.